from the Technology Center on the campus of Herkimer County Community College. This is HCTV 99 News. A student produced newscast covering HCCC and the community it serves. Hello, I'm Patrick Malowski and welcome to 99 News here on HCTV Channel 99. We're here every Thursday afternoon this semester at 1 o'clock with a live 15-minute newscast produced by radio and television students enrolled at Herkimer County Community College. Well, with the new semester underway, radio and TV students are busy once again with a semester-long fieldwork requirement. Each semester in the radio TV program, students are normally enrolled in at least one production class. These classes carry four credits instead of the usual three. The extra credit is given in part in exchange for required hours of fieldwork. Students can fulfill their fieldwork responsibilities in many ways, but general rule of thumb is that it's for an activity to qualify as fieldwork and must contribute directly towards programming on either the campus radio station, WVHC 91.5 FM, or HCTV Channel 99. Herkimer County Community College is holding its fall open house on Saturday, October 29th. It will be held from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the RMCC building. There will be campus tours as well as student question and answer sessions. Students will also have a chance to sign up for a $500 scholarship and other prizes. The winner must enroll full-time here at HCCC. For more information, visit our website, herkimer.edu. Herkimer County Community College is looking for eligible candidates for the NYS Diversity Honors Scholarship. This scholarship is available to students from a broad range of backgrounds who contribute to the diversity of our campus or academic program. Participants must be New York State residents that are U.S. citizens or permanent resident aliens. Freshman applicants must have a high school average of 80 or above, and returning students must have a GPA of 2.0 or higher. The winner of this scholarship will receive up to $1,000. You can stop by the financial aid or bursar's office for an application or complete it online. Halloween will be here in just a couple weeks, and until then, HCCC is putting on festivities that include a visit from ghost hunter John Zaffis. Zaffis has over 30 years of experience investigating the paranormal. He has a great deal of knowledge and understanding of the spirit world and is considered one of the foremost authorities in the field today. He has been a part of some of the most famous investigations, including a haunting in Connecticut and Little Lost Souls. Zaffis will be visiting the campus on Wednesday, October 26th from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. in the RMCC building. Registration has begun for winter mini classes from Herkimer this January. You can register with the online application on our website at herkimer.edu. Winter mini sessions give you a chance to make up a course or get ahead on your spring semester. Most of the courses are offered online, providing you with the convenience of staying indoors when the weather weather gets bad. Speaking of weather, there is more news straight ahead after the break during 99 News here on HC Channel 99. I'm Patrick Malowski. Erica LaBombard is up next with your complete weather forecast. Stay with us. Now, the weather outlook for Herkimer and the surrounding areas right here on HCTV 99 News. Welcome back to 99 News here on HCTV Channel 99. I'm Patrick Malowski. And I'm Erica LaBombard, here for your HCTV 99 News weather. Now Erica, this morning has been so strange. I got out of my car, it was raining, pouring, 
and then I walk back outside probably an hour later, the sun is shining. And yet again, I go back inside, and then I come back out, it's pouring again. What's going on out there? I don't know. I woke up, and it was sunny out, and then I come to class without an umbrella, and I get drenched with rain. See, I bought an umbrella yesterday, so I was all ready for today. <laughs> Lucky you. Let's take a look at your current Doppler radar. As you can see, this low pressure system that's off to our west is what brought us those few showers last night and into today. Probably still going to be lingering around. A few breaks of sunshine here and there, but it's going to continue into tonight and a little bit into tomorrow. Your current conditions right now are mostly cloudy skies, 62 degrees, with winds coming out of the southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Like I said earlier, those showers are going to move into tonight with a low of 46, with winds coming out of the south at 14 miles per hour. Again tomorrow, eventually those showers are going to tamper off with a high of 56 and a low of 44, with winds coming out of the southwest at 12 miles per hour. Finally Saturday, the sun starts to come out with partly cloudy skies with a high of 56 and a low of 37, with winds coming out of the west at 5 miles per hour. Sunday, that sun's staying with us, so it's going to be a beautiful fall weekend with partly cloudy skies, high 59, and a low 42, with winds coming out of the south-southeast at 5 miles per hour. Let's take a look at your extended outlook. Monday, we're going to see showers, unfortunately, folks, but it's going to be a high of 56 and a low 44. Tuesday, that sun comes back out with partly cloudy skies, with a high of 57 and a low 44. Wednesday, you're going to see mostly sunny skies, the high of 55, and a low of 47. So in the middle of next week, finally, we're going to see some nice fall weather. Okay, thank you very much, Erica, for that weather update. When we return, Eric Nicoli is going to get you caught up on the latest regarding the Herkimer General sports teams. Stay with us. Catch up with the general sports team after the break at Sports Rec here on HCTV 99 News. Hi, I'm Eric Nicoli, and welcome to this edition of Sports Rec. This past Saturday, the Herkimer Generals men's and women's soccer team were supposed to be traveling to the Division I Bryant and Stratton Bobcats to take on to take on them in this Saturday's matchup. However, due to rainy and soggy conditions, the game was canceled. Due to the cancellation of the games, there remains one game in the season. The Generals will be hosting the Genesee Cougars. The Herkimer Generals men's soccer team defeated Com Tompkins Cortland Community College Wednesday, October 12th by a score of 4-1. Freshman Charlie Anderson had a spectacular game as he tallied three goals for the team. In the first half of play, Anderson fired in two out of his three scores. Later on in the game, senior Cody Ferrier fired a shot towards the opponent's goal the ball deflected off Charlie Anderson and had gone in. Although the Panthers played aggressive and were attacking the Generals, it was not enough to shut down Herkimer's phenomenal offensive attack. However, this past Tuesday, the Generals suffered a 1-0 loss against number 5 Genesee. They are now 12-1 heading into regionals. In women's soccer action, the Lady Generals played one of their best games of the season last Wednesday as they defeated the number 7 ranked Tompkins Portland Community College Panthers. Coming into the game, the Panthers were on an 11-game winning streak, but by the end of the day, that streak would be no more. Freshman Melissa Steck scored the team's only goal in the fifth minute of play. Within 10 minutes after the goal, it looked as if Herc would go up to 2-0, as Jessica Dutka fired a shot assisted by Frankie Robinson. However, the ball grazed the crossbar and went out of play. Jolie Michelle Cuomo had 13 saves in the Lady Generals' win. The team is now 10-3-2 on the season. In Delhi, New York, the Lady General successfully defended the Region 3 Championship. Top scorers were Herkimer with 18, Onondaga with 14, and SUNY Delhi with 12. The ladies won third, fourth, and fifth singles flights in the second and third doubles flights. Momentum had shifted when the team of Jacqueline Melillo and Mary Galloway had a three-set victory over number one seeded OCC in the third doubles. Senior captains Abby Smith and Danielle Fadness improved their singles records to 12-0 and won their second consecutive regional singles titles for HCCC. Not only did the Lady Generals win the 2011 crown, but also head coach Katie Scanlon was named Coach of the Year. The ladies will compete in the 2000 Nationals on October 26. Three former Herkimer swimmers have continued competing at four-year schools. These alumni include Greg Griffin, Allison O'Brien, and Aaron Ray. 
All three students were 2011 graduates of Herkimer. While Greg Griffin attended HCCC, he set six individual school records, five relay records, and five Mountain Valley Collegiate Conference records. Griffin was also the 2011 Region 3 champion in the 200-yard backstroke. Griffin also contributed to the 2010-2011 national teams. Griffin continues to swim at SUNY Cortland. Allison O'Brien holds the school's record for the 1,000-yard freestyle and was part of the 2011 national team. O'Brien now swims at Casanova College. Erin Ray also competed for the 2011 national team in the freestyle event. Ray continues her swimming career at SUNY Oswego. Good luck to these HCCC graduates. Back to you. TV 99 News for tonight. And just a reminder for you, you can catch the HCTV Channel 99 News this semester every Thursday afternoon at 1 p.m. live right here on HCTV Channel 99. You can find out more about the radio television broadcasting curriculum at HCCC and view past newscasts on our YouTube channel. You can also find us on Facebook. For everyone here in the radio and TV broadcasting department here at Herkimer County Community College, I'm Patrick Malowski, and thanks for watching. Have a great day.